proposed an interface to control robots in the user's proximity with pointing gestures, a natural interface that people use all the time to communicate with each other. Here, the user guides the drone on complex trajectories fast and with little effort. Doing the same with a joystick would require a lot of skill and attention as it introduces a layer of indirection. Instead, pointing directly maps the indicated location to the robot's desired position. Our system has two requirements. First, the robot must be able to reconstruct its own motion, for example by means of a visual odometry system. Second, the user must wear a wristband or smartwatch with an orientation sensor. Note that the robot does not perceive the user in any way. We use the 3D orientation of the wrist to reconstruct a pointing ray that originates at the user's eyes and passes through the tip of the pointing finger. To find the pointed location, we intersect the ray with the ground plane. This location is relative to the user, but has to be expressed in the robot frame before the robot can move there. For this reason, the interaction starts with a relative localization phase. For a few seconds, the user points and follows the robot while it moves along a predefined trajectory. The system aligns the pointing rays to the corresponding robot positions. This establishes the relative localization of the user and the drone. At this point, the bracelet on the user's wrist vibrates, the drone wobbles a bit and turns its light to green. From this moment, the user controls the robot, which follows the pointed location in real time. Even though pointing is an inherently imprecise way to pinpoint positions, the real-time feedback provided by the robot itself allows the user to achieve very accurate control. To disengage, the user holds the robot at the same place for a few seconds. Then the robot turns its light back to blue and the bracelet vibrates. Touching the ground will land the drone. We also adapted our approach to slow-moving ground robots. We substitute the robot's own motion with the motion of a laser dot guided on the ground by a robot-mounted pan-tilt unit. This implementation also allows the user to draw a complex trajectory, which is then followed by the robot at its own pace. We tested the system during several public events to assess its usability. Our experience shows that even people who never piloted a drone in their life are able to get accustomed to the system in a matter of minutes. With minimal effort, users can move the robot to nearby locations in an efficient and accurate way.